All right, it looks like I deleted my original Samba videos, so check it out. Here's how you enable Samba and get it up and running without disabling SE Linux. First things first, go to System Administration, SE Linux Management. Then you can filter by Samba under the Boolean tab right here. Then there are two options that it appears I have checked. One of them I remember checking, the other one I don't. The first one is allow Samba to share any file slash directory read slash write. In other words, allow stuff to be shared read and write if you want your user to be able to read and write to directories. I think if this is checked, if I remember right, it does not even allow the directory directory to be published or accessible. It'll uh, deny the user. The second option is allow run, Samba to run unconfined scripts. And I think that's um, a Samba that allows Samba to run its own scripts and things related to it. Um, again, I, when I ch check these options out, I had uh, checked them out by testing trial and error and concluded that these two were necessary. So it appears that they were necessary. It's been a long time since I've done the video, so uh, I'm a little not up to date. Anyway, then go to users and groups and create a user. And unless you want to give them your username, create a new user for uh, the Samba users you're going to be granting access to the permission, or access to your system. Sorry, I'm thinking about 300 things at the same time. Anyway, create a user, and then under the properties, when you're creating the user, here we go, check the box for, uncheck the box for create home directory, and uncheck the box for create a private group for the user. Now when you create the user, it'll still give it the user's name as its home directory like normal. For example, this one's home slash Alex. So what you want to do, because that directory does not actually exist, if you ever plan on allowing this user FTP access, that's going to cause you a problem. So as a heads up, click on the user who you just created and edit the directory, the home directory path to say just forward slash home without the username. because with FTP, with the uh, FTP server, if the initial directory the user is logged into, as per convention, does not exist, the user can't be logged in. That's even if you make them change to another directory after they're logged in, the initial directory has to exist. So just give them forward slash home uh, for forward compatibility with FTP server if you ever think you may be adding them to FTP. Anyway, all right, that covers the user part. Then after that, go to System Administration Samba. Alright, click Add Share, find the directory you want to add, click OK, share name, you can leave it as default, put writable and visible if you want them to write, and then on the Access tab, click the username you want to allow and uh, by the way, that user, when you created the user just now, I forgot to mention that that user is automatically added to the users group. Anyway, click the user's name you want to allow. And then, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I skipped a step. Before you do that, sorry. Samba users. Add user, find a username you just created, and then give it a Windows username, which I usually make the exact same, and then a Samba password. The Samba password, the user has to exist to begin with. If the user does not exist, you cannot add them. But the password does not have to be the same as the user's real password. You can give them any password you want. So that's why you had to create that user instead of just creating it through Samba. And then in Preferences, I don't think there's uh, much to edit. Work Group, give it any arbitrary name you want. You won't even need it, really. And then Description, any description you want. Security, you can pretty much leave it alone should say uh, user for authentication mode, encrypt password GS, no guest account. All right, and with the shares, you find your directory, click it readable and writable, give it a description if you want, change the share name if you want. For access, check the user you want to access it, click OK. And then when you're done, you'll have it added into this. Then restart the Samba server so it'll reload the configuration file. Now, on your Windows computer that you're trying to connect from, you would type, now I'm not at a Windows computer, I don't feel like breaking up the camcorder and mucking the video in with this one, so here's what you type. <clears throat> Hit Windows key and R at the same time to bring up the command prompt, hotkey shortcut. If not, 
uh, if it changed on Vista, which I've never used, then find a way to open the command prompt with uh, or another cr command prompt with the run window, the, the run command window. And in the run command window, just type backslash backslash and then the IP address to the SAMPA server on the network. For example, 192.168.1.2. And then when you hit enter, it's going to bring up the authentication dialog. And when it brings that up, just type the username, no host, just the username of the user you just created and their password and hit enter and it will open.